so what are the reasons behind the language of indus valley remaining undeciphered despite similarity in vedic indus culture why is the language a mystery with no connection with sanskrit what a wonderful fantastic question so there is something called uh, the frawley paradox it's uh, its originator is dr david frawley who is a very famous indologist he is an american hindu very nice person and a great scholar so frawley's paradox says that india has the world's the world's most uh extensive ancient literature which is sanskrit literature even though most of india's literature was destroyed in the burning of our great universities even though this happened we still have millions of ancient manuscripts that are gathering dust in various uh, archives and various temples and all that so we have the world's greatest literary tradition the oldest literary tradition and we also have the one of the world's the world's greatest ancient uh, urban population center the the greatest world's greatest ancient civilization which is the harappan civilization and historians would like to would like us to believe that this literary tradition that we have has come from the central asian steppe and from europe and this great population center is completely different from that so that is the frawley paradox we have this great population center and we have this great literary tradition in sanskrit and we are unwilling to put two and two together and associate these two with each other so the 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 point is that the language of the indus valley civilization the so called harappan civilization was most likely vedic or post vedic sanskrit there is no other logical alternative some proponents of the aryan invasion theory or the aryan migration theory soon to be aryan tourism theory they would like us to believe that this was a dravidian civilization and proto tamil or something like that was the uh, language of the indus valley region well what evidence do you have for this there is none whatsoever and there is beginning to emerge some evidence that the indus valley script may be the precursor of the brahmi and kharosthi scripts which were used to write most ancient languages in india primarily sanskrit now why has this script not been deciphered yet because nobody has <laughs> see to decipher an ancient script you need funding you need a think tank you need to bring a number of brains together you need to bring a number of scholars together and that has never happened in this country the government has never shown any genuine willingness to do this so what's happening is that you have isolated scholars trying to do this work of deciphering the script but it's uh, so far never happened and another possible reason may be that the script that we find in these ancient inscriptions may just be a form of shorthand and maybe the the people of that era of our civilization maybe they used to write the actual script on paper on a form of paper or on cloths and maybe none of that has survived over these thousands of years so what we are left with is this form of shorthand which is not really the real script that they used that is also a possibility so that is of course speculation we don't have evidence for that but it is a possibility so what i would like to see happen is that we should start using machine learning and artificial intelligence to st- to start parsing and anal- analyzing this ancient whatever uh evidence of ancient script that we have collected thus far and try and see which linguistic morphology it matches the most closely so that could be a good start so we need to start using technology to tackle these old unsolved problems so that's what i would like to see happen my strong conviction is that the people of the harappan era and the geographical region they spoke vedic or post vedic sanskrit this is definitely a post rigvedic part uh, post rigvedic phase 
of our civilization. Because if you see the Rig Veda, it speaks about a pastoral India. It doesn't speak of any urban centers at all. It speaks about a rural phase of India's civilization, which must have happened long before the urban phase of India's civilization, which is called the Harappan phase. So I am convinced that the language of the Harappan civilization was either Vedic or post-Vedic Sanskrit, definitely pre-Paninian Sanskrit. So let's see. I hope that this mystery will be resolved sooner rather than later.